This is not your ordinary baseball bat. As you probably know by now, it's called a torpedo bat. The Yankees started the season raising eyebrows while breaking all sorts of home run records. That one's driven deep to left field. And with all the talk about this bat, I got curious. So we got invited to Tater Baseball in Connecticut to see exactly how these torpedo bats are made. And in this video, we put one to the test, comparing it to a regular baseball bat in the batting cages. And we even got our very own custom, incredible science torpedo bat. I also take my son to his very first major league baseball game, but let's go back to how it all started. It began with a road trip, just me and my son chasing down something new, something different. We were heading to the home of the torpedo bat, Tater Baseball in Connecticut, to see how these things are actually made. We were invited to tour the factory and wow, watching bats go from blocks of maple to high performance tools was insane. Now some areas we couldn't show you. Parts of the process are blurred out because they're still developing new bat tech. <laughs> But what we could show, it was mesmerizing. There we are. Oh. Cater baseball. Jeremiah, what is up? So we're here just to learn all about the torpedo bat. I mean, I love baseball. And when I heard about the torpedo bat in the news, I'm like, I gotta find out more about it. I gotta video it. We gotta try it out. All right, so let's show let's show a regular bat, yeah. first of all. So regular bat right here. This is what we call our X12 bat. It's a traditional baseball bat. Okay. So yeah, a baseball bat is is just slim. It, it's uniform. It's just one thickness, pretty much. One shape that tapers all the way out to the end for... To the knob. It, it tapers right? off to its peak right at the end here. So the biggest part of the barrel right here towards the end. So it's really better if you hit it here, but that's not the thickest part, exactly. which is how the torpedo bat came into being. Yep, and I have a torpedo bat right here so we can show the difference. Come up closer to the camera to show you guys. That is part of the barrel right where we were just talking about right here. Sweet spot. Some guys start to really hit the ball this portion of the bat. Some guys hit the ball closer to the end. The guys that hit the ball closer or just fatter part, torpedo bats can be really good for them. Right, let's, let's look at them two together. Regular bat on top torpedo bat on bottom. Now, a lot of people are saying it should be called bowling pin bat, right? Because it resembles a bowling pin more than a torpedo. Now, what's cool about Hater Baseball here, and the reason we came here, is not just to see a torpedo bat, because you can see these a lot of places by now, but the coolest part of Jeremiah inviting us here to Tater Baseball is they actually make the torpedo bat right here in the back, and we're gonna actually see the process of how a torpedo bat is made, how it's engraved from start to finish, Let's check it out. So it starts right here. Oh, wow. This is where the magic starts. So this is every baseball bat starts from this. Every baseball bat starts from a billet, yeah. 37 inches. Wow. So it could get 30, 31, 32, the weight. Everything starts from here. You actually might see this piece of wood being held by a major league player like next month, launching a massive home run just with this piece of wood. That's pretty incredible. You want to hold it? <laughs> it might be you. You might be that major league player. Well, not in a month, but that is that is really cool to see how it starts. Literally just from a piece of wood. That's awesome. Let the carving begin. So that is where the carving process starts. A little loud in here. But what's going to happen is this piece is going to slide all the way across to carve the bat. This is actually gonna be a torpedo bat. That is awesome. It takes about four and a half minutes to complete the entire carving. Oh, well, that is cool. Look how it's coming out. Oh, it comes out this way, nice. That's a vacuum that just collects all the dust in the room from all that wood that's being carved and sucks it right up and out. This is like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with all the machines going on in here. Have you ever seen it as a kid, that movie, Charlie? Yeah. Remember that room with all the machines? Doesn't this look like Charlie and Chocolate Factory to you? This is what I'm talking about. Here it is. It's almost done. Look at that. That is so awesome. And you see the torpedo shape taking shape right there. You see it? You see the middle of it? The fat part? Torpedo bat is done. Look, it's still spinning like that. Look at that. Slowing down, slowing down. And there we have it. Can I touch it? It's not hot at all from the friction. It's actually fresh out of the oven torpedo bat. Now it gets sanded, smoothed out, all that cool stuff. And it gets reset for the next bat. He's sanding the bat right here. That is cool even smoother. How satisfying is that?
Oh, it is so much smoother. Feel it. What's that part? That part is off. Oh, okay. Every bat is precision made, balanced, tuned, tested. You don't just see the quality, you feel it. These aren't just bats, they're like science experiments with a grip. So this is the bat. This is the bat that we just made in here. We saw it being cut. This right here became this torpedo bat. How cool was that? The piece that we were showing you in that room earlier just became this right before your eyes. What was that, like 10 minutes? And here you have a torpedo bat. And this, how do you know like the weight and size of it? So it's a 33 inch bat and we weigh every bat. You weigh it after, it okay. And then it gets painted and stamped. How long does it take to dry when you do it? The whole process is like four days. Oh wow, okay. It gets a, a, a first coat and then you have to sand it down, put another coat, sand it, paint it. It's about a four day process. And it's nice, I see all the bats up front. They're beautiful. Yeah. Oh interesting, so another difference of the torpedo bat, the top is flat, a regular baseball bat, the end is cupped out. Scoop it out. Why is that? Yeah, so if you take the weight out and we have to put a cup in it, it takes some weight off the end and brings more weight to the middle. The whole point of torpedo bat is it enlarges the center of gravity and closer to the label, and then we shorten it out at the end so we can move more mass down the bat. There's science in everything, guys. Have you have you hit with a torpedo bat in the cages? Not yet. So we're actually gonna go to batting cages. We're gonna see how it feels. We're gonna see if there's any noticeable difference. I'm gonna take a bunch of swings with the torpedo bat and with the regular bat. You're gonna do the same. And we're gonna see if we notice any difference and we'll see if the major leagues maybe call tonight after they hear about my batting session with the torpedo bat. Let's go. All right, hang on, can we just see the bat? Oh, there's the black bat. That's about to get engraved. So this is what's being engraved on the bat, right? Sir. That's cool. And there you have it. Peter Torpedo. So cool. Are you not worried of it cracking since it's wood? Definitely not. You'll One. be all right. Yeah? Yep. I have a You'll hard swing though. It's okay. Okay. We'll be right back. Awesome. We have both bats here. You, you guys can see which one is the torpedo one. Which one's the torpedo? The white or the black? White. Yeah. And you can also tell, as we saw earlier, by the, by the cap. Torpedo bat doesn't have the cap scooped out. Hi, how's it going? Got a torpedo bat here. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna hold it? Isn't that cool? We're gonna test it out in the cages. Nice. Regular bat, here we go. This was the regular bat. Now we're gonna try a torpedo bat. Time to test it against a regular bat. I took a few warm up swings and then boom. The ball, it just exploded off the bat. The sound, wow. the distance, the pop, totally different. My son took some swings too. We were both in awe. Torpedo bat was cranking him out. Woo! All right, the torpedo bat, no doubt has so much pop to it. I just felt like a totally different hitter. When it hits that sweet spot, it just flies. And that's why I'm gonna take it away from it. Swing harder, harder. Nice. That's what we were feeling in the cage. When you hit the sweet spot, the bat does the work. And the torpedo bat, it was a huge one. Now we wanted to understand what made this bat feel so different. So here's a little experiment you can try. Build a spoon catapult and discover the sweet spot where energy transfers best. Tape a spoon to the table, then mark launch zones using tiny hot glue dots, rubber bands, or fun tack. Launch the same mini marshmallow from each spot. Which one sends it flying farthest? That's your sweet spot, just like on a torpedo bat. And then came the big surprise. One week later, I took my son to his very first MLB game. Walking into the stadium, seeing the size, the crowd, the players, it felt huge. Like we were stepping into a whole other world. He wasn't just watching baseball anymore, he understood it. He'd seen the signs behind it. He had the bat, he had the swing, and now he had the moment. What do a spinning pizza and a swinging bat have in common? Physics, 
When a chef tosses pizza dough, it spins with angular momentum, just like a batter swinging through the strike zone. Both use torque, rotation, and force transfer to move energy from one point to another. Whether you're making dinner or hitting home runs, it's all about the spin. And then the cherry on top. He told us that he would be sending us a special, incredible science themed logo torpedo bag. And now let's see how it's made. We already showed them that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think you should edit that out. I think we're going to keep that in. <laughs> yeah. Do you? From road trips and factories to batting cages and big league dreams, this was more than just a bat. This was about curiosity, discovery, and building memories that last a lifetime. Stay curious, stay incredible, and always swing for the fences. Thank you.